What's going on everybody? Welcome back to our Saturday edition where we like to repaint a uh, flash that, you know, that the greats did in my opinion. Uh, last week was our first one. We did Sailor Jerry and this week we're going to be uh, repainting a piece from Burt Grimm. He's actually one of my personal favorites. I really look up to his work. I really like his style. Um, so I'm excited about this one. A little, uh, a little quick kind of synopsis on Bert. He was born in uh, 1900 and he passed away in 1985. He actually was born in uh, a town near Portland, Oregon. He's actually buried out there as well, uh, just south of Portland. I forget what the town is called. Uh, we were out there visiting the uh, father-in-law this summer, so we uh, made a trip and paid our respects to the man. It was a very humbling experience. Um, suggest if you're ever out on the uh, west coast to stop by and you know just uh, bow your head and say hi but uh yeah Bert basically grew up in in the tattoo uh, community uh, by the age of 11 he was uh working in tattoo shops doing apprentice stuff um, odds and end jobs you know running errands cleaning up stuff like that uh, by the time Bert was 16, he was pretty much tattooing, uh, tattooing on his own. He also uh, did a little short stint with uh, Buffalo Bill's Wild West Circus in 1916. Um, that kind of really helped him learn about promoting himself, and he took a lot of uh, a lot of the circus aspects of, you know getting the crowd riled up and stuff like that to help promote himself. Uh, he was known to uh, rattle off um, famous clientele that he's tattooed, which included Bonnie and Clyde and also included Pretty Boy Floyd. Bert actually would even get his clients in on the, on the shtick, so he would have them showing off the tattoos he did on them, and he would... Uh, have them kind of reciting his tales of of who he's tattooed and where he's tattooed so that's a pretty uh pretty cool story and, and a pretty unique way to uh promote yourself so maybe i'll have to try to <laughs> tattoo some gangsters and uh promote it that way <laughs> uh bert's most known for his tattoo shop in uh long beach california uh in the pike a lot of phenomenal uh artists pass through there and work there um, I actually have a acetate stencil that was carved in uh, in and out of his shop at the Pike so but uh, yeah you know Bert pretty much traveled all across the world and all across the US he tattooed in China tattooed in st. Louis Portland uh, California like I mentioned I also believe he tattooed in Hawaii for a little bit so the man's uh the man's an amazing artist and he was he was an amazing tattooer so um yeah it's a little, little quick once over on Bert and if you like to learn more there's there's some books out there and some kind of websites you can can peruse otherwise if you uh want to see more of his work simple google search will take care of that so but uh yeah you can just see I'm finishing up the design here definitely a fun one to paint yeah. I, uh, anytime I get a chance to do his designs, I always get excited. So, but, uh, that's going to do it for this, this episode. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be having anything on a uh, Tuesday as, uh, I'll be out of town, but, uh, remember like, share, comment, subscribe, all that helps out. And, uh, yeah, thanks for your time and, uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye.